welcome back to my channel. You guys liked the first one of things that I have bought since being in quarantine, so I'm gonna make a second one because shocker shocker, I have more things. Also, we're qual calling this quarantine hair and it is beautiful. I actually have like mascara on today because I took some Instagram photos that you may or may not see because I don't know if they turned out because the camera was really far away from me and I couldn't really tell. But, um, hi, welcome back. I kind of organized the things that I bought this time because last time it was a little hectic, but, um, let's just jump into it. Alrighty, first thing I bought is so exciting. I bought these off of the actual Canon website, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Honestly, I can't remember. It was like a month ago at this point now. But these are the batteries that my camera that I'm shooting on uses, so I've got two more of those babies. Then let's do Walmart. So I went to Walmart yesterday to get some groceries and I waited outside for a very long time but I ended up uh, going in and getting the groceries that we needed and I also got a bunch of random stuff so all the Easter stuff was like really cheap these were 75% off they're just little sheets of like Easter stickers um there's not a ton on each one and I think they were like what does it say 98 cents to start with um but I picked up some of these for Kaylee or myself or whatever and um yeah, either we'll keep them for next year or use them this year. I don't really know. They were 25 cents. Uh, picked up this Paw Patrol placemat. Uh, we had one, on, one of these at my mom's house, and these are good for, um, wow, I'm saying I'm a lot, I'm sorry. We use this for Play-Doh. We'll bring it out. She can play Play-Doh on the floor as long as it's on the mat, and so got that. It was not expensive. I think it was like less than two bucks. Like I said, all the Easter stuff was on sale. So they got a bag of mini eggs or mini cream eggs i got this bag of wow that's crinkly these are sour patch kids bunnies there's 18 bags in it and this one is 18 bags of sour patch kids the regular ones and maynard the swedish berries so those will be good last thing that i got at walmart i think at least for right now uh this little romper for kaylee i like the so inexpensive it was eight dollars and uh, mind you, okay, so it's a little bit see-through. You know, can you tell? No, nah, probably not. But uh, it's a little see-through, and she tried it on yesterday, and the neck part, like this part here, is like very thin, or maybe she's just, I don't know, but you can like almost see like the side of like her chest. I don't know if I like it. This may go, but like go back, I mean. But it's got pockets, and a, these are so easy to keep in my car for in case we have accidents or she jumps in the pool fully clothed or whatever. Haley got a gift from a friend of hers, which I thought was so sweet. She got gifted this Paw Patrol Mighty Pups book um, for Easter from one of her friends. I ordered two things off of Gymboree. I actually ordered three things off of Gymboree, but one of them didn't come and I'm really disappointed about it. But this is the little dress. It is from their Pockets Full of Posy collection. It's so cute. It's like a denim with little daisies all over it. And then to go with it, I ordered these little sandals, which she wore the other day because it was really nice out. Little daisy sandals. And I also ordered the daisy sunglasses that were all part of the collection. And they went through and everything. And then I got a notification that the sunglasses weren't available anymore. So I didn't get those and I'm really disappointed about it, honestly. Let's do Amazon because it's like random stuff. The first thing I got is a two-pack of these shower liners. Really exciting, I know. One is already up in Kaylee's bathroom and... The other one is right here because my shower curtain that I ordered in the beginning of March is still not here. But I got these, they were not expensive and it came in a two pack already which is perfect because that's what I needed. I also ordered stainless steel cleaner. Cleaner and polish apparently. This is the one that Amazon recommended to me. It's a teeny tiny little bottle which is fine because I don't have like a ton of stainless steel. But I've been cleaning a lot more since we've been on since we've been on uh, quarantine, so I figured I could clean my stainless steel appliances that I had nothing to clean with. I bought a vegetable peeler off of Amazon. It was not expensive, and so I was kind of expecting it not to work. It's literally the best veg best vegetable peeler I have ever had. It's great. This is awesome. I'll link it below. You need that vegetable peeler. Two kind of beauty-ish things. I got some bio oil. I've already opened it. Uh, I love bio oil. I use it. I've used it for like four years now, more than that. No, it says before I had Kaylee. She's four and a bit, so. Love this stuff, it's cheapest on Amazon. <sighs> okay, this is like a TikTok made me buy it, not even like a quarantine made me buy it thing. This is the Ordinary, what is it actually called? 
10 minute exfoliating facial. Uh, I have not used it yet. It looks like blood. Oh, Kaylee's coming to say hi. Okay, now that she's gone. The peel that everybody and their mother on Amazon is using, or sorry, on TikTok. It looks like blood. Um, I kind of like this dropper thing. It's very satisfying. I have not tried it yet because I just got it the other day. I'm kind of scared if we're being honest, but I'm going to try it. And a couple more things that I can show you sitting here and then I'm going to take you for a tour around my house. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I've started a Poshmark. I'll link it down below. It's not very exciting right now, but it will be. Uh, so I picked up some poly mailers. This big old box is from Amazon and uh, looks like this. Pineapples and what else is on there? Lemons? Oranges? Uh, I also picked up another box. These ones are so cute with flamingos. And then I also picked up these ones which are small and they're like the bubble kind. So I'm going to show you the Sephora stuff and then we'll walk around my house and I think everything else that I have to show you that's around my house is all from Amazon as well. But ordered from Sephora. Don't worry, I've disinfected it. I actually ordered a lot of the Sephora brand stuff, which literally never happens, but I actually really like it. So I ordered two of these Sephora brand watermelon after sun masks. They come with the one for your face, but the one for here too. Uh, I used these last year and I like them. They were on 50% off, so I got two. I don't know if they're discontinuing them or whatnot, but um, I like those. They're good. I don't discontinue them. Then I got two of these Sephora cleansing wipes, watermelon and the coconut. I love these. I feel like they're so compact and small that I can like throw them in my purse, leave them in my car, take them wherever I'm going. I don't really know, but I, I like them. Uh, let me get the last Sephora things. I'm obsessed with these lip balms. If you guys know me, I have been through like, I don't know, 10 of these tubes of the coconut one. It is so good. I got my mom and my aunt obsessed with it. So picked up another one of those because I was out. I picked up the watermelon one, which I think my sister likes, maybe. I don't know. I think I might have tried it. And then this is a new one to me. It's dragon fruit. And actually, Kaylee just tried dragon fruit for the very first time the other day. So I got this one too to try. Then I picked up, wow, I picked up a lot of watermelon scented stuff this time. Uh, I'm obsessed with the milk cooling stick, cooling water stick or whatever it is. Uh, I love it. I think it works amazing and I think it is beautiful and awesome. So I picked up another milk stick. This is the Watermelon Hydrate and Brighten Stick, so I'm excited for that. And then, Glow Recipe. I love the idea of this company. It is so expensive, but it just gets me. I, like, ah, I love it. Let me see if I can open this. Oh, I just broke my nail. Okay, I finally got it open. Look how cute! Ah, I'm obsessed. So this one, I didn't even tell you what it is. This is the Ultra Fine Mist. Watermelon glow. Wow, I just shook that up. Is it supposed to look like that? Or am I supposed to shake it? I don't know. Anyways, got this. It is shake before use for optimal results. Use as a hydrating glow mist. I just like the idea of this. You can also use it as a setting spray, it says. I think it's so cute. Oh. I can already smell it. It smells like cucumber. It smells so much like cucumber. It does say it has watermelon in it. The last thing, oops, it's falling apart. Okay, so I all, I seriously love these Sephora Favorites things. So I picked up another one. This is the Sephora Favorites um, Hot Hydrators one. I don't know. Uh, it, but for starters, it's in a compostable little baggie here, which I thought was so cute. So uh, what's in it? This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Foaming Oil Cleanser. Look how teeny tiny and cute this little bottle is. This is the La Mer Treatment Lotion. I got another one of these Laneige uh, sleeping masks. I have one in my bathroom right now and it's almost done and I actually really love it. Um, Youth to the People Aptogen Deep Moisture Cream. This is the Glow Recipe Sleeping Mask, which is originally what I was gonna get because I wanted to get something from there. Um, but I saw that this was in one of these sink. Oh my God. There's like a piece of plastic and I just dunked it right in. You mean, well. That smells good. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna try it and if I like it, then I'll buy the other one, but 
Got that there. Two more things in here. Ah! Okay. Uh, this is Belief, Believe in Truth, the True Cream Aqua Balm. And then the last thing is from Fresh. It's the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. I feel like it's a great way for you to try a bunch of products. I love it. All right. Now it's time to move around my house for the other things that I either have put somewhere and I can't get them or are big and clunky. But let me show you. All right, item number one is this Let's Stay in Bed sign. I got this from Etsy. I have it above my bed right now and I think it is so cute. I just have it up with like, you can see them command strip things, but it's awesome. It might be hard to hear me because Kaylee has a TV on and I'm standing right beside the washing machine, but I got this shoe rack off of Amazon. It is super dirty already, but I thought it was perfect for this space. I also have a sign coming that will likely be in the next video though. Next we're just hopping into my daughter's bathroom, but this is the other liner. I just have it behind this one. This one is from Marshalls or Winners or something. But what I'm showing you are these little hooks, which are so cute. Um, these are from Amazon as well. And I'm actually really, really happy with them. They feel good quality and they're really cute and I feel like they just add that special touch in here that just makes it look adorable. And then also in here, I picked up a shower, um, like a bath mat, I guess. I don't know what you call these, like the no slip things. I have one for my bathroom, but I didn't have one for her. So I picked up this blue one and I'm obsessed with it. I love how big it is. It fits so well in here and it's got like the bubbles or like stone effect in there. This is really good. And again, I will link this down below. Okay, the last thing is up there. I bought myself a crock pot. I have never had a crock pot and I'm super excited to have it. All right, guys, that is everything that I bought in the last little while from uh, online shopping since being in quarantine. If you guys are enjoying these, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I'll link everything that I can find down below. And uh, yeah, happy shopping and quarantining and stay safe and healthy. Okay, bye.